What's good, Crown family? Hope you're having a good day today. If not, I hope this video bring a little light to your day. Today, ladies and gentlemen, we finna check out Arak. And this is his newest video, $1 versus $10,000 public dares. Let's go ahead and get straight into this. Let's move to the, the bigger front video. Let's get it. I'm challenging strangers to do dares for $1, $1,000, and all the way up to $10,000. Just to see how far Shoot. people are willing to go to step out of their comfort zone. Now, my friends people and I do stuff like this to each other all the time. Now. So I thought I'd change things up today and give strangers the opportunity to try this for themselves. You know, I thought to myself when we were making this video, where in this city could I go to find the most interesting characters possible? And there is absolutely no place like Venice Beach, California. For $10, would you step out of your comfort zone? Yeah! You're like, okay. you're no, no, you're already too far out of your comfort zone. You want to step <laughs> Yo, out of your comfort lit. zone for a grand today? Not really. Any chance you would want to make a thousand dollars? No, bro, I can't. No, I'm good, but like thousand dollars step out of your comfort zone? Oh, well, odds? Oh. Are you serious? Yeah, normally. Uh, it's not anything crazy. You don't have to get naked. I would just That's put you. <laughs> hey, what's your name? What in the I world? love you. <laughs> you're awesome. I'm surprised some people turned out. I'm to take him to this extremely fancy restaurant called Jim's Kitchen, filled with real guests. And I'm going to send Tom in there as a fake waiter and got him through three levels that each push him further outside of his comfort zone. The further you go, the more money you make. It's pretty simple. Sweet, right on. Why did you agree to this? Well, my mum passed away recently. Really? Oh, man. No, she did. I just think life's short and I'm, I'm trying to make the most of it, so. Have you ever been sucked into anything like this? I've done some weird shit, but this is new. Good luck in there. Let's do it. I appreciate it. As usual, I have a bug in time. I ain't gonna hold you. I, I don't know if I would trust him. Like, maybe if he gave me the money up front, but imagine somebody just randomly walking up to you and just, especially if you didn't know, and just offering you $1,000, like, and they just like, hey, hop in this van. Like, bro, like, what? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I'm here so I can talk him through what he needs to do. Now, I only put one waiter in this room, so Tom is completely responsible for feeding all of these people. Everybody's got food, right? Yes. Oh, thanks for that. All right, Tom, for level <laughs> one, to earn one dollar, I want you to grab the Parmesan and the cheese grater and go around and grate cheese for people on their plates. But instead of stopping when they want you to stop, you're gonna stop when I say to stop. Cheese? What in the world? Tom, I want you to fill this man's plate to the brim. What brings you in today? He's trying to have a conversation so we can buy more time. Say when, by the way. Okay. Keep going, keep going. Oh, uh, yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I know you like that cheese. Wait a minute, bro. What is going on here? Oh, what when? Keep going, keep going. Okay, I like that. Keep going. I know you love that cheese. No, 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 I'm okay. Bro, I'm sorry, but. <laughs> All right, keep going. Keep going. <laughs> oh my God. Oh, you're good. All right, you're good. Oh, thank goodness. Oh, I thought I was going to be here all day. Cheese? <laughs> I'm okay. Great choice, actually. He just Dude, threw that Tom cheese kind of in his hair, kind of. Not on purpose, actor. though. He's a real man I found on the street. Great job, Tom. You just earned yourself $1 on level one. All right, what, what? do you kids want next? <laughs> I thought he said a thousand. For level two, for $100, oh, what I want you to do up. is Smart. go around and eat food off of the customer's plates. You accept my challenge. Oh, yes. Oh, no. He's so eager. How are you doing, brother? What's your name? Stefan. Stefan. It's been a bit of a day so far. Sorry. Anyway, in England, Brussels sprouts are a delicacy. Would you mind terribly if I just had a little taste of home? Uh, no, it's not appropriate, bro. No? No, 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 no. You can't do that, bro. You're working, man. No, no. Exactly. Yeah, the yeah, thing yeah. is, I'm, I'm just being nice. It. You have a job to do, so you should do that. Bro. Oh, my God. Wow. Gosh. If you keep doing around, you're never going to make it. This guy's not having it, bro. I'll leave you to your man. Dude, they did not let him take a sliver of food off that table. Hello. Hello. How's your cheese? Uh, pretty cheesy. Is he leaving? What? Oh, he's playing the piano. Look at that guy. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Tom just distracted. He had to take a new <laughs> approach that time and just Maybe he can steal it. his food while he's gone playing piano. Oh, he's coming back. He's coming back. Uh -oh. He's coming back. Oh, no. He might put them hands on him. Hey. Tom just took his food. Oh, that guy's pissed, man. <laughs> Bag. You want anything else for me? Tom, you just earned yourself $100. Are you at all interested in level three? Oh, yes. I am on it. All right, so first I need you to bring out the dessert. I believe dessert is in order. And once you're done serving everyone, what you're going to do is start a food fight. Not a food fight. I participated in one food fight in my entire life. And it happened at school, and I still remember it to this day. It was one of the most funnest things I've ever participated in. But... <laughs> 
I just remember that. I don't know Very why. Very much hope you've enjoyed your experience at gyms so far. <laughs> There's no way they did. I don't know if any of you have met Jim. He's a terrible chef. He's dreadful. However, the dessert course, Jim famously feels, is better mixed with the oils of the human body. What? <laughs> what? Bro, I can't tell if you're mad or not. Boy, the food is made. Oh, oh my gosh! gosh. Oh my gosh! On the count of three, I want everyone in this room to no throw way. everything on their plate at me. One! Oh, no. oh, they're all getting around him! Two! Wait, this is actually smart, three. though. Three! Oh. <laughs> That's smart. So you told him to throw him at him versus like everybody starting to fight. People would be more willing to throw it at him. This is actually sorry. <laughs> wow, Tom, congratulations. You can make your way to the van. Bro, everyone in that room is covered in food right now. Thanks. I can't tell if they had a positive or negative dining experience. I feel like they had fun. Yeah. Everybody you participated. Want this, man. <laughs> congratulations. Here's your money. What's congratulations. Right? Everybody comment if you want Tom to come back and do a video. I guess onto the next bit. Now he might have had to step out of his comfort zone in front of 20 or 30 people. But what if the room was 50 times bigger? Well, they're just so I happens don't know to be a Show in Philadelphia and my friends, two friends, DJ duo. And I'm gonna try to get somebody to step out of their comfort zone. Guys, I have a question for y'all. Would you step out of your comfort zone for one dollar? No, probably not. I hope you guys have a great night though. Yes, you too. <laughs> Why was that so awkward? I have a question for you. Would you be down to step out of your comfort zone for ten dollars? She's not down. Would you be down to step out of your comfort zone for ten dollars? Let's go. Why was this so easy? Because I'm always down for an adventure. What's your name? Rachel. You're coming with me. I'm not letting go. There's a show going on downstairs right now. Everybody else is down there having a good time. How far out of your comfort zone are you actually willing to go? I'm willing to give anything a try once. You I could mean. say you've been preparing your whole life for this moment. I'm built for any moment. We will <laughs> find out if that's true or not. It was time to see how prepared Rachel truly was. To do that, I'm gonna have her perform as a fake musician known as DJ Dumpster Fire. All right, we're backstage. Rachel is about to go on instead of the DJ that everyone paid to see two friends. Right. Thank you so much for letting us crash the set. Now the goal is to push Rachel out of her comfort zone today, but another thing that can push people out of their comfort zone is starting a business. And that is made easy with the help of Shopify. Give a big welcome to DJ Dumpster Fire. Yeah, man. Cheering for that. All right, for one dollar, you have to do anything we say. I don't want you to say, make some noise if you have a rash. Pretty bad. I'm not gonna lie to you. <laughs> <laughs> nah, she's actually really cool because it's just like she's down and only being paid ten dollars. It's kind of crazy, but it's like this is an experience though. You know, being a DJ, like that would be dope. Online, like. in person, and across all social media platforms, regardless of your technical ability or experience, Shopify offers an easy to use all-in-one commerce platform for anyone to help you be comfortable enough to start, grow, and manage a business. Kind of like how comfortable Rachel looks right now. Why is she so confident? I actually got out of like my comfort zone confident. when I started my company, Pizzafy, and I would only trust Shopify to run that site. Tell everybody to quiet down. Can you quiet down just a little bit? Too loud. Crowd kind of reminds me of when we did the world's <laughs> largest pizza party, where Shopify helped us sell merch and Pizzafy to you guys in person using their point of sale system. Get like really strict, like really mad. Yo, yo, seriously, like shut the <laughs> up. <laughs> This is so Yo, painful. For ten dollars, you have passed level one. Congratulations! You just earned one dollar. Do you want to move on to level number two? Please tell me. I don't, don't think give Rachel trusts me, but you should trust Shopify because they power millions of businesses across 175 countries, and they can help you finally start the business that you've been dreaming about. All right, we're gonna turn down the music right on the uh, drop. When the music cuts, tell them it hurt your ears, so you just like didn't want to go too loud. Oh my they're probably God. like she's oh, the bad. worst DJ they're ever. Bad. Tell them they're gonna have to be good boys and girls. You gotta be good boys and girls. Be good. <laughs> oh no, they're booing her. Bro, they hate her. Okay, that's level two. I actually started using my boy in her DJ career, and she just getting started, bro. That's crazy. <laughs> Shopify five years ago, which means I've actually been partnered with Shopify longer than I've been partnered with YouTube, which is crazy. This video in this channel is about stepping out of your comfort zone, and the barrier has never been lower. You can go to Shopify.com/Arac to start your free trial today. Would you like to move on to level three for a thousand dollars? Yes. All right, I've got a really big surprise for you. I'm gonna let the boys tell you. All right, so our dude Marshmallow is actually here tonight. No one's ever actually seen his face, but for a thousand dollars, he can take off his helmet and reveal his identity to everybody. Okay? No way. Marshmallow does not know that you're doing this. This is up to you whether you want to reveal his face. Marshmallow or not. ain't go ahead, it, man. Is that, um, I am Marshmallow tonight. That's okay. pretty legit. That's I'm about to legit, say. Right? You're gonna do great. All right. Yeah. 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 Because <laughs> ain't no way. Oh my 
god! <laughs> she didn't give me a shot. I thought I was gonna get out there and like, she didn't hesitate at all. There she is. <laughs> You're so excited. I feel like I'm at a fail at pushing out of your comfort zone. Do you think I need to go harder on the rest of the video? On the next to people, yeah. You need to go harder. Yeah, she was. Philadelphia was. She was an outgoing person. You could tell from just her willing to do this with Tin. Like she, she like she's just down for adventures. Well, I mean, she said that, but you know. It was fun, but I had she a bigger idea, like really, really big. And what better place to do it than the biggest city in America? Is there any shot you want to be a part of my game show today? No, no, no. Sir, is there any shot you want to be, uh, any shot you want to be on my game show? All right. <laughs> oh, man, this is brutal. What's your name? My name's Andy. I'm doing a game show today where I'm paying people to do embarrassing things. Is there any shot you'd want to do that with me? Uh, I'm sorry. I, look, I'm, I don't know, man. I just, I just moved here like three days ago. I moved here to be an actor. What if I were to pitch you on acting like a tour guide? Look, I you seem like the type of guy that's pretty difficult to embarrass, to be honest. Is that what we're doing? You're going to try and embarrass me? Yeah, good luck. We're going to have fun today. Hell yeah. I mean, it's a nice start, though. You never know who watched this video. You get millions of views. You might get a, you know, might get a row. All right, Andy, today you're going to be a tour guide on this ferry full of strangers. I'm going to need you to put this in your ear. I'll be below deck so I can speak in your ear and tell you what you need to do. We're going to take this boat all the way to the Statue of Liberty, and I've got three levels of embarrassment for Andy. It looks like everyone's having a great time, so let's introduce everybody to Andy. So, uh, my name's uh, Captain Tim, and I'll be your host today. <laughs> Turn around and just go, wow, look at that view. Wow, look at that view. Holy <laughs> shit. Holy <laughs> shit. No one's paying attention. They're just <laughs> hey, everybody on the farm. Level one. As you can see, all of our wonderful tourists are getting drinks served to them. So, Andy, for one dollar, I need you to go around and take a drink out of all of these people's cups. No, 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 no. I no, should have no. gotten some more. You don't mind. No, 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 no. See, that's what. That's like no, no, no money's amount of money worth. You know, Sorry, <laughs> risking it like that. Oh, oh no. Oh. What is it? That's cool. Oh. That's kind of disgusting. Oh, yeah. Oh, 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 no. Oh, Might if I just only skill ones. Please. Oh, careful. Please, careful. Oh, please tell there. me this is like. Oh. No, I got it. I got it. I got no. it. Are you going to pull a shoey or what? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Much better. No shit. Congratulations. That's $1, baby. Oh, there she is. Oh, bro, it's Please crazy. get his man right to 14k. I've actually never Please. been to the Statue of Liberty. All right, Andy, we're entering level two. I need you to I'm stand in the front York. of the boat. Talk to everyone and say, all right, guys, I present to you the Statue of Liberty. I need you to give a speech convincing these people that the Statue of Liberty should have been a man. This could be bad. <laughs> <laughs> this could be really bad. You know, there's a lot of interesting facts surrounding the Statue of Liberty. I don't know if you guys knew this one. It should have been a man. I mean, try to get somebody to agree with you. Dude or a lady? I prefer a dude. You prefer a dude? I would feel like I could like resemble and empathize more if it was a guy. All right, now flip your perspective entirely <laughs> and make you feel bad about it. It's kind of like a really <laughs> attitude, though. You know, I don't know if I would agree with you. I don't know if I'd say that. <laughs> yeah, like you think it should just be like this guy that's like, oh, look at my huge. <laughs> Andy, you can stop trying to make Mr. Liberty happen. You just won one hundred dollars. You are now entering. Level three. Let's go, baby. Or level three. Let's I need go. you to get as many people as you can to jump off the back of the boat with you in celebration of your birthday. This is what happens when an unstoppable force That's meets an happen. immovable object. I just want to let you guys know it's actually my birthday today. Oh, nice, guys. Build it up, build it up. This Who is the best day of your life. Of this boat. is probably like one of the best days of my life. Because I got to share it with you guys. I got to share it with you guys. Anyone wants to help me celebrate, I'd love you to. Join me up here at the front of the boat as we jump off together. Nobody's doing it. Nobody's doing I'm it. I'm jumping off this boat. You guys come with me? Nobody. Uh, He's I seriously gonna you. do it. Give me a liberty or give me death! Wait, isn't that like the... He did it! That's level three! He did it! Andy, you dirty boy! This is $1,101. That's yours. Congratulations. I wouldn't hope that. No, I'm it's not, all right. It's all good. Three hours later, strangers, our best friends are soaking do. wet. <laughs> Our next bit? 
I guess. For the grand finale so, like, of KP Yankee give City, to find someone please, who will push bro. themselves further than anyone in this video. I'll give one of you guys $10,000 to win the field right now. Cash right now. Yeah. No, I'm not doing uh, Okay. Won't they get banned? I think they get, won't they get banned for doing that? Like, you can't go to another baseball game from running on the field? On the field? Yeah. <laughs> if I pay my bail, I'll pay your bail. <laughs> I wish I can, but I can't. And, and, and my hands right here. Do it. Oh, okay, once in a while, I'm on my feet. Now you with the boys. But I'm like, hey, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Who's going? No Who's going? Who's going? Oh, oh my God. Time is gone. We've got a fan running onto the field. He did it. He did it. He did it. Oh. Is he not gonna get? Oh he got away. <laughs> That's good. That's good. <laughs> Yo, um, shout out to Eric, man. He's coming through with some fire content, man. Like for real. Stay tuned for more reaction videos to his content, man. I hope you enjoyed my reaction video, man. I really enjoyed this, man. Thank y'all for all the support. Until next time.